Hello, hello, hello. We're back. Back in Minecraft. Server's back up. Have a sleep. Get rid of this rain and this night. Um, so I when I logged back into the server, it had me dead again in the Twilight Force. So I think when I hit the respawn, that's when the server crashed for whatever reason. So we're here. Um so we do have to go get our stuff. So let's um let's get some some stuff. I was wondering, so different versions of ours, Nouveau, there's been different ways to upgrade armor. There's been slots and stuff, but different mod packs and different versions sort of have different takes on it. I wonder if this thing has any info on it. Okay. Tears, glyphs, machines, magical equipment. Let's have a look here. Magical armor. So we know all this. And fiber. Now, can you upgrade this at all? That's what I wanted to know. Maybe you can't. Okay, weird enchanting apparatus. What's a jar avoiding? Destroy items on pickup and grants a small amount of mana in return. Turn the jar on and off. Use the jar while sneaking. Oh, okay. So I guess you could um, just like suck up a bunch of cobblestone and it will convert it into mana. That's actually... We could mine like crazy fast with that, couldn't we? In theory. That could be really good. So there's no way to upgrade that armor? Affinity... What about protection? Protection level one, enchanting apparatus. So what are you enchanting? I guess whatever's in the middle. Maybe we need to put some protection on our on our on our armor. Okay, that's that can be done. So let's get a decent helmet here. Let me also close this. Whoops. Uh, 3 and 3.7. Stuff seems better. Uh, chest piece. Okay. Leggings. Oh, yeah, we do actually have the other, the other stuff. Seems pretty good. And then some boots. Oh my lord. Let's just take these. Okay, good. So we got some half decent armor on. Let's get some apples. And a sword. 7.5. Yeah, let's use this one. Get a bunch of blocks. Oops. Okay. Good stuff. So let's um let's leave the worn notebook here for now. Do we need anything else to get our stuff back? Just a bunch of blocks, probably. Should do us. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's right here. Don't crash, server. Come on. 
Okay. Wait, I write these mushrooms. Hold on, let's sec here. Ah, whatever. So that's the portal. I think our death point is here to the northwest. Which is this way. I guess if I select the key, does that... Oh yeah, okay. The key shows me the way. The way. Alright, we got this. We're going to make some kick-ass mage armor. We're going to add a whole bunch of protection to it. Hopefully. Then we're going to come back reinvigorated, ready to take on the Lich. Because, yeah, we were taking way too much damage. Way, way too much. Professor Bonda Wolfer, the son of Herobrine. Bob, Bob Don Wolfer. Twitch Lich. Twilight Lich, sorry. He's actually really weak, so maybe we'll we'll try to finish this fight. Since I think we did actually get rid of all of his shields except for maybe one. So maybe if we can sneak in and get our stuff. Let's have a look. So we gotta start going up. Like here. Nerd pole. Oh, I didn't bring a pickaxe, but I think I opened everything up, so it should be okay. Okay. Where did I go in? I guess the key will show me, right? Okay, it's down there. How did I get into this place? They heal? Oh, no, here we go. Here's where it is. He's got all his shields back. So the grave is on that side. It's over there. We were actually, like, right beside it. Uh, I should have brought a freaking... Oh, you know what? I could probably make a pickaxe. That's not what I wanted. I don't know if I want to break through this wall. Ah, silverfish. So how far down do we have to go? It's like down there. Here we try to take this on just straight up. Okay, so that must be the fake. So this guy's... No. Ow. Okay. We don't have the regen, which is pretty much the problem here. Let's try to kind of cheese this. I do want to have a way out. They do a lot of damage. Huh. 
Um, let's see if we can like change direction here. Bloody silverfish in these walls. But the regen is so slow. Okay, it's right here. So you know what? Let's uh safety first. Jeez. Something like that. There we go. Now we probably got too much stuff on us, so let's toss some of this. Last Forge Knight Metal Helmet of the Current. Ten armor. Holy crap. Oh man, it looks pretty badass, too. <laughs> nice. Oh, what? What are they doing down there? Um, let's do uh, need a little bit of room. Sorry, let me. Oh, just want to make sure I have enough room to pick up all this crap. There we go. Okay, great. We're back in business. Now, question is. Do we finish this fight now, or do we run home? Get better protection. So, I'm seeing, yeah, see, there's a guy down there, and there's three of them out there, four of them. Wait, you know what? That's probably the real one right there. I gotta remember, it's H. Where'd he go? So that was the real boy. Where's the real boy? These are fake boys. Or girls. It's the real one. So low. I think we just got to get that one shield off of him. That's a fake. There's the real one. There we go. Alright, so now I think he actually takes damage. Yes, he does. We're running out of mana. We are running out of mana. This is the problem with having the robes off. Where is he? This is him, right? So yeah, I think this phase he spawns these boys. Casting our spells. Keep on top of them. Ow. Oh my lord, I just about died. Okay, I think this might be the last phase. Oops, sorry, squirrel. There we go. I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Holy. There's a couple booties. Some looties. Some scooties. All right. We did it. We beat the lich. Kind of sloppy. We did die. We weren't prepared. We didn't have good enough armor. But we did it. So, you know what? Let's get back. So the um, the ignite harm spell cost a lot of money, and it really uh, not money, mana, 
And it really didn't seem to do a ton of damage. I think it's okay. Hello, server. What are you? Forest Raven. You know what? We might want to kill another one of these because... We didn't actually get the thing for... Magic Focus. Boom. So. Let's have a sleep. Bring out your dad. Bring out your dad. Take my watch off. It's bothering me. Okay. So that protection spell. Or that not protection spell, but protection enchantment. Naga done, Lich done. Perfect. Uh, zombie Scepter. So that Zombie Scepter, you can actually spawn zombies to fight for you. It's kind of cool. Do, do, do. Uh, Warn. Let's have a look at this. So, Protection 4. Two Manipulation Essence, two Abjuration Essence. So let's see if we have those first. Abjuration. This is abjuration and manipulation. Okay. Manipulation essence. A clock, stone, button, and redstone. Stone, gold. Redstone. And what was the last one? Shit, I can't even remember. Uh, redstone. Oh, okay. Okay. Make a clock. Button. Already got redstone. We need some source gems. Source. Source gems. There we go. Okay, we needed uh, two of those, right? I believe. And honestly, well, I mean, if we're going to be putting this on all our armor, we're going to need more than that. And then just a whole bunch of lapis and source. Lapis. We already got the blocks. Good stuff. So that'll tick along. So we should probably, I mean, so one thing you can do to speed up these um, crafting processes is you can feed it source. Now let's have a look at that. So I'm guessing, well, uh, well, I do, I so I want to test one of these to see if protection four actually does work on the ropes. So I'm not entirely sure it will work. But we'll try it. Automation source. Alchemical source link mycelia generates a moderate amount of source from nearby food generating more or more nourishing food. Source berry food is worth far more than other mundane foods. Additionally, the mycelia source link will convert grass or dirt in the 3x3 below it into mycelium and will grow mushrooms around it given the space is empty. Source link will also pull items from nearby pedestals. Okay. How does this work again? 
Source can be used to power ritual summons and machines. Volcanic Source Link. Vitalic Source Link. A relay Warper Splitter Depositor. Operates similar to the Source Relay, but will deposit to jars. Is not linked to within five blocks. See the instructions on the Source Relay for use. So, do we need to have a source jar? Source jar stores source gathered from nearby source links. Source is used in glyphs and rituals by powering devices like the imbuement chamber and enchanting apparatus. Source may be moved using a bucket, or the jar can be picked up and moved. To use source in a jar, simply place the jar near your desired device. Source jars will provide a signal to redstone comparators based on their fill level. Okay, well, let's make one of these so it's just glass and archwood slabs. Wood. Glass. <laughs> let's just start with one. Can make more once we figure out what we're doing with them. So maybe just sitting on top. That looks good to me. And then, so we need a way to fill that with source. So let's make the italic We need a depositor? Probably not. Similar to the source relay, but we'll deposit two jars. Uh, <laughs> um, what? Make another one of those. Oh, I can figure this out. I can. So we need to generate source. This one seems like a good one, considering we have mycelium right here. Nearby food generating more. So I wonder if it would eat mushrooms. Mycelium source. So mushroom stew, two source gems, and two gold. Seems pretty straightforward. Um, mushroom. How do you make mushroom stew again? Uh, is it like, is it one of each mushroom and then a wooden bowl? Is that how you do it? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then what was it? It was um, source gem like this and gold like this? Yes. All right. So if I have this just sat here, do, do I need another jar on top and then a relay passing it off to that? Let's try that out. Let's see if that works. So the source jar. So say this is sat on top. I throw it an apple. Okay. Wait, well, it, it does kind of look like there's some in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's working. So then how would I go about passing that to there? So the there's the warper, the relay, the depositor. Maybe it's the depositor? Operates similar to the source relay, but will deposit jars. It's not linked to within five blocks. Deposit jars, it is not linked to within five blocks. Okay, so a source relay. Enchanted. So we need one of these first. So a source block and gold. So is the source block four or is it nine? No, it's four. Okay, good. A little cheaper. 
So a source relay. Let's just have a look at this entry real quick. Enables the transport of source between source jars and other source relays to pull source from jars. Use the Dominion wand on the jar and then on the relay to send between relays or from a relay to a jar. Use the wand on the relay. Okay, Dominion wand. This the Dominion wand? Dominion wand. Uh, so in an enchanting apparatus, two source gems, a gold, and a stick. Okay. Can do. Gold, source gems, stick. Wait, the stick was the center part, wasn't it? No recipe found at pedestal. Hold on, what was the stick in the middle? Enchanting apparatus. Is this the enchanting apparatus? No, this is the imbuement chamber. Okay, my bad. Oh, God. <laughs> inventory. Let's just toss this stuff in here for now. Get ourselves some room. Enchanting apparatus, and then a stick. Was it? Oh, it's, oh, okay, my bad. It's not two gold, it's two source gems. There we go. Whew, all right, we got this. Make a bunch more source gems. There we go, we got a dominion wand. Now let's swap this back out. We should probably get two of these set up, honestly. There's no sense in doing it like this. So if I have, if I go boom, to boom, no, wait, hold on a sec. Source relay. And I like put it here, for example. Connections cleared. Take from one location. There we go. So that's like a pipe. So now, yes. All right, that's working. Okay, good. So that's sending source here. All right. Now. What the heck were we doing this for? <laughs> we were trying to put protection on our thing, which required the enchanting apparatus here. The, it was, how many source blocks? God, I'm gonna have to look it up again. Protection. Is that under magical equipment? Enchanter's shield, Enchanter's mirror. Where did we find that? Enchanting. Protection, protection, protection. Level four. Two manipulation, two lapis, two source. Okay. Two lapis, two source. Two abjuration, two manipulation. One, two, one, two, two, one, two. And then if we grab, say, our chest plate, this item must have the previous level of enchantment. Oh, you have to go up the tiers, really? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. So what's tier one then? Protection level one, it's just uh, not the second. Let's take this off. Not the second one of these. Whoops. And what was it? Was it? It was just one lapis block? Yeah. Let's try that out. 
not enough source nearby. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? Why don't we get like a, a stack of baked potatoes going? Maybe that'll be like a good food. Potato seeds. Let's try this out. I just want a ton, ton of food. Let's get all, oh my God, look at all the food already. Okay, with this stack of potatoes, let's see how much source that'll get us. I'm assuming cooking it is better. Probably, right? Let's have a little nap. So we can also, we do have unlimited lava, so we could do source with lava as well. I don't know exactly how that would work, but we can try to figure it out. So the, let's have a look at that. Um, source. Volcanic sourcing. Sourcing generates source by consuming burnable items. Archwood logs will generate bonus mana, with blazing archwood generating the most. As a volcanic sourcing produces source, it also produces heat. Used for spawning lava lilies and converting stone into lava. Volcanic sourcing automatically outputs to nearby jars. Okay, blazing archwood. So it isn't actually, it's not from uh, lava, it's from wood. Vitalic. Nearby mob death. Oh, this would actually be this would be a good one considering the mob spawners right over there. Blistering melon. Source. Good morning, Char. Did I wake you up? Should really upgrade this chest. Get a melon. Was it? It's like this for a glistering melon, right? Yep. And then, uh, is it this way or is it the other way? It's the other way. There we go. So if I was to place this, how close do you think this needs to be? Maybe like there? Let's get another source jar. We still need to um, convert that into the dirt that'll generate constantly. Um, oh yeah, our baked potatoes. Let's have a look. So if I toss an entire stack of baked potatoes. leave that running you know what why don't we do that um why don't we do that dirt right now so what was it we needed rotten egg so four xp buckets a spider eye seed gunpowder so we had i think we had four buckets of xp no two and let's create another one So now we've been turning our XP into these jelly babies, which we have a lot of. How do we turn them back? Maybe what we just do for a little bit is don't have it pump out. Fluids. Okay, we'll just turn that off for now. How's this thing doing? 24% full. It's great. So the baked potatoes are doing a good job. Um, now, XP. Can we turn Jelly Babies back into... 
back into the liquid XP. There's 500 in here. So, okay, hold on a sec. Let me just have a think about this. Liquid XP. I mean, we could breed the chickens. We can breed. Oh, that actually had a bucket in it. Okay, we just need one more. So this has 220 millibuckets. This has, there, just killed some peeps. And, oh, look at that. The killing is working. 400 millibuckets. So it's not going to take that long. We just got to... Maybe let's just wait here for like a couple seconds. Should do it. So we get the XP bucket. We make the uh, GM feed for the chicken that turns it into a rotten egg. How many chickens do we have left? Should probably breed one and then kill one. Because I think the uh, production of the rotten egg actually kills them. <laughs> Just desperately got to go. 700 mil buckets. So that, that should be enough source now, right? You would think. Is it related? How do you... Why is it not... Um, oh, okay. Oh, look at that. So maybe it just pulls it as it needs it. Whoa. Protection one reduces damage from most sources. So that that works. So, all right. Um, let me go back. Now we have to do that for every single piece of item, don't we? Piece piece of item. So we need tons of source blocks. We need tons of these abjuration essence. Yeah, you can have that muffin if you want. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger platform. Stone. So let's um let's make basically another another one of these. Where's my wand? There it is. I guess we can make another one of these arcane cores just to just to have it looking similar similar arcane core what what's that chart uh sure please thank you Uh, oh crap, I just tossed my magical map in there. Sorry, um, one, two, three, and then a fourth. That would mean like this, stone. Like so. Why is it always raining? We've we've been literally sleeping every single night and it's still bloody raining. So annoying. And it's not even nighttime, so I can't even sleep right now. Bloody heck. So on top of this, we want to have the imbuement chamber. There we go. Now the pedestals will pull from each other, I think, if they're too close, but maybe that's enough. Um, what is this called? Arcane stone. And uh, we need some more. So we're going to need... Ah, let's just make it all. Oh, wow, that was exactly... Oh, no, no, eight is... Wait, is eight right? Yeah, eight is right. 
Sorry about all the noise in the background. Charlie's making some uh, some shizwas. Gotta keep these sources on the cook. Okay, there we go. So we got a secondary platform for the imbuement chamber. Now, what we need to have happen, I mean, we're going to need a ton of these abjuration essences. And we're going to need a ton of the other ones as well. I wonder if it's even worth making another one and just having two going simultaneously. I mean, alternatively, I guess we can... We might be able to pump it full of this source here quickly. So the um, let's make a bunch of the manipulation essence first. So that was clock, button, redstone. What happened to my clock? Did I put it in the... Yes, I did. Clock, redstone, button get some source gems so that'll start crafting but let's see if we pump in this bad boy here oh you need a relay though right whoops what happened there hold on so we're gonna need a secondary relay crap how did you make the relays source relay oh yeah right Okay, let's just have this one here, I guess, it's kind of in the middle. So if we go here to here, sending, no, not sending. How do I do this? <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Oh, automation. Jesus said a transfer pass. Use the one on the object that you would like to take source from and then use it on the block you would like to send source to. So. Okay, there we go. And then taking from here, sending it to here. Finding the sink. Did that work? How do I see what locations it's going to? No recipe found. Yeah, I know there's... Oh, you know what? It needs a source jar, doesn't it? That's my bad. That's, I think, what it is. What happened to all my glass? Damn it. Glass. Out. Did that work? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. 47. Did it empty this out? No, it hasn't yet. Is it going quicker than it used to? Doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it's changed at all. Although this has gone down, hasn't it? So maybe it is. Okay. Ah, we got a fourth bucket. 
Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Those are those, uh, the mushrooms it said it would spawn. Now, will it actually eat the mushrooms? Wait, did that cut off that pipe? What the hell? That actually cut the pipe? Well, that's no good. Okay, please let me sleep here. I am so fucking sick and tired of the rain. God, it's so annoying. Oh. Jesus, Charlie. God. I might have to... Maybe I should just stop streaming. Do this another time. I've been going like 45 minutes anyways, so it might not be the worst. Well, no, just go ahead. I'll stop. Um, I'll stop shortly. Let me just um, let me do what I was doing here. This what was it called? Um, at oh my god, so fucking done with this shit. Oh my lord. Okay. This thing right here. This is what we're making. Boom. Done. Let's get a seed out. Let's feed these guys. After they breed, we're going to feed one of them this. And then he explodes into a rotten egg. Perfect. So, if I come over here... And we open this up. Actually, we should probably have that glass ready to replace. So if I'm gonna if I right click here, oh right, oh crap. I forgot the um the fans are on. Holy crap. <laughs> we gotta turn the fans off. <laughs> Whew, I almost died there. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again that back all right right click with this boom got yourself some cursed dirt and that'll spread to all the dirt in there and now look no matter what even if we're close to it or it's nighttime or daytime or whatever that's going to spawn people non-stop so this jar is going to fill right up with source um and then we're going to make tons of this abjuration essence we're gonna make tons of the manipulation essence i don't know this like seems crazy slow maybe there's like a faster like look at how much is in there it just it seems really slow i guess we could move i guess we could move the manipulation or the uh, imbuement chamber over there to have it def you know be beside it um i don't know I'll have a think about it. But anyways, I'll leave it here. Um, oh, where did that... Wait. It's trying to... Now it's sending... Oh, probably because that one's full. So it actually sends quite a distance. So even if the imbuement chamber was here with the source jar, that might be close enough. We wouldn't even need any splitters. Might actually go a little quicker. Because man, right now this is pretty darn slow. And I want to, like, pump these out quick. Should we just do it? Yeah, let's, let's try this out. Let's just see if it works first. Ah, oh, my bloody inventory is full. Let's just bring this right down. <laughs> just give me... I need a little breather from the old Minecraft sounds. I think that rain did my brain in. Uh, so. I just want to see if this works and then we'll make it look better after. Say it was sitting right here. Uh, and then we have this, this, and this. We need a, do we need a source jar on top? Maybe that's quicker. Is it? Oh, 
Okay, wow, there we go. Look at that. It jumps by tens instead of by ones. So this is literally ten times quicker. So yes, this does matter. <laughs> okay, all right. So we'll, we'll kind of figure out how far the range is. Oh my god, it's like night and day. Oops. And there you have it. We just have like a bunch of manipulation essence straight away. So we're basically, we're going to need, what was it? Well, they go up to two per. So we have four pieces of armor. That's not it. Enchanting. Protection. I mean, we're going to want to do some of these other things too, but we'll start with the protection because that seems like a good... So for level one, you need one. For two, you need two, and then two, and then two. So two, four, six, seven times four is what? 28. So we need 28 manipulation essence. And we got five. So we need more source gems. You know, all these things. It's going to happen. And then we will have some hopefully half decent armor. Then we'll go back into the Twilight Force and we'll fight everybody. Um, man, here, let me get up on my viewing platform. If you're on YouTube, um, hit uh, subscribe, watch the other videos. It's all in the playlist if you're missing any. Uh, join the Discord and the Twitter. If you want to join this server? Peace.